Hey guys, what's up? It's Average Guy App Review here once again, talking about Zombie Horde this time. I'll just go into new game, show you what's going on here. Um, basically, the premise of the game is defend the base against the attacking zombies. Um, you got three different difficulties, three different game modes, and for now, just one map. I uh, I'm not totally honest. To be totally honest with you, I'm not sure if more maps are unlockable. I've played the game for a little while. Um, and haven't unlocked one, so I'm not sure if I just haven't gotten far enough or they're just not there, to be honest with you. Now, the game modes, normal, uh, kill zombies, earn money, buy better weapons, etc., etc., to defend your base. Um, arsenal is you're given a certain amount of weapons and you, you cannot buy anymore um, and defend as long as you can. And time attack would be kill X amount of zombies in X amount of time. So I'm gonna start. I'm gonna go ahead and show you Arsenal, um, so I can show you the weapons. Now, granted, I am starting out at level one on this review, um, so it's gonna be a little slower, but the action does pick up quickly. Anyway, this is your tutorial here. Uh, base right there. Zombies attack from this side. Try to kill them as early as possible. Uh, you hold this to bring up your, uh, if I was in normal or time attack mode, you hold it and you can, a little menu comes up here, you can buy weapons. Uh, considering I'm an arsenal, they gave me all the weapons that I can have uh, right off the get-go. So um, I cannot buy weapons, but I can still hold it and select the weapons. Um, and tap is uh, switch between them pretty quickly. Um, and here's your buy ammo or reload button over here. All right. Now accuracy does come into play. I've killed a guy with two shots. See that guy killed with three. The first guy killed with six. This is the gun with infinite ammo always in any mode. So you will never run out of ammo. And also, you can use as many fingers as you want. You can, you know, you got guys up here and guys up here. And again, I'm not really good at playing like that. Alright, show you the shotgun. Pretty effective. A little slower than the handgun. But of course it's a shotgun, so it's not going to be fast. And it's better for uh, multiple zombie attacks at the same time. If I can get two or three of them lined up in the same little area. Switch again. This will be the submachine gun here. Pretty effective. Now, like I said, these are only the early levels. Action does heat up. Here's the uh, the minigun. Has to spool up. Now, usually I play with my pointer finger, but because I'm behind the camera, I have to play with my thumb, so I can't really see as well as I'd like. I'm sure you guys can't see either. I'm trying to show you. Oh, ran out of bullets. Each gun has its own reload sound and whatnot. I think that's pretty cool. They try to be as accurate as possible. Let me see if I can. You can see a little better. Not really. Sorry, guys. I don't have transparent fingers. Can't really help you out with that one. All right, and here's the last gun. Wait for this to, which is just really not fair. I'll let a couple of them gather. Grenade launcher. Incredibly effective, as 
you know, a grenade launcher in real life would be. Just taking out this little box of zombies is just incredible. Anyway, this game's pretty fun. Nice choice of weapons, and uh, the inclusion of three different modes was a nice touch. Enough to switch it up when you get bored of one mode. So I'm going to give it an 8 out of 10. Fun game. Any requests you guys want to see, let me know, and I'll do my best to get them up as soon as possible. Thanks for watching.